Well, Ooh. check this out. Speaking of outdoors. Mm. That's not bad right That's there. That's really pretty. Was this sent in by our Bernard O'Donnell? This would be it, from our Bernard O'Donnell, yep. our um, assignment manager in the newsroom. Yes, we, we affectionately refer to him as Bernie. Bernie! And we also call him, they call him the rainbow guy. <laughs> That's right. The rainbow maker. I can picture him. This is very lovely. I'm going to take a photo of it. <laughs> By Bernie's from Boston. Yes, yes, is, he is. Yes, <laughs> it is a very neat accent. I love to hear him talk. Mm. Yeah, let's go get a cup of coffee. <laughs> uh, good picture there, Bern. Thanks. And uh, don't take it out on me tomorrow. Okay, 77 <laughs> is the current number. We're looking at muggy stuff out there tonight, and that's no shock. We've had plenty of that. Once again, for those just joining us, Milledgeville looks warmer than it really is. The thermometer is kaput. All right, so there is a look at the radar. And it is quiet. That was not the case earlier this afternoon and evening when we had thunderstorms plenty out there. And they were putting down some heavy rain, putting down a little bit of hail in a couple of spots. And these storms north of I-20 continue to try to develop here. And so the graph model that I've been looking at, the high-res model not picking up on it so much, but the graph model that you'll see in just a second, does try to shoot some of this down our northeastern corner here as we go on through the overnight hours. And again, this time of year with this type of convection, these models struggle a lot trying to figure out the exact timing placement. And, you know, is it just heat of the day? Is it late at night? Is it morning time? Well, let's take a look at this model. So far, it's right. It's picking up on what could come down if you're in places like Hancock County over the next few hours. And there's 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. We may see some rain come down. So most of the plan has been every day wait until the afternoon thunderstorms will fire up first part of the day you know if maybe you do construction work something outside you're pretty solid okay until we get into the afternoon this may be in the morning and as we go through the lunchtime period maybe seeing some rain there's three or four o'clock in the afternoon five six again don't get locked into the exact spot uh, but just know that the possibility is there there's around this time or so tomorrow night and then it still tries to show stuff developing overnight into Thursday morning. So we're in an active pattern for the next couple of days where lunchtime Thursday, Thursday afternoon could see some rain, pockets of this heavy at times. We're going to have uh, some tropical like moisture out and play out there. So I think there will be some pretty big rainfall totals over the next couple of days. This takes us in tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. Now let's go forward on the clock into Friday afternoon. Maybe something popping up. Long range models show a little something as we go into Friday, Friday night. Then the change comes in as we go into Saturday. It looks like a drier scenario setting up for Saturday and Sunday with heat increasing. So more mid 90s as we go through and that low 90s number for tomorrow. If we stick with clouds and see rain off and on during the day, we may never see that. We saw 87 today, so that would be kind of the top out spot. So.